Hi everyone, welcome back to the Morgan Homestead. Today I'm going to show you where we're at with the log cabin house build. We've gotten pretty far. Um, I think it's only been like 30 days since we got or started the build. Now keep in mind I haven't built every single day of those 30 days because of rain or other commitments that I had to do around the homestead. So, But we've, we've made really good progress. Today we're going to be working on the, the, the roof decking. Um, I'll, I'll show you what we've done since the last video. So we got all of the log rafters up in the ridge pole. The loft deck on top is complete. I also did some wind boards, or they call them wind boards. Uh, and that's these boards right there that go across between each of the roof rafters. So now those, I didn't show the progress on those, I didn't show the process on those, but it, it's kind of a tedious thing. I mean, you have to cope the ends where it connects up with the log rafter. Um, but once you, once you get your process down, it actually goes pretty fast. You just go up there, take all your measurements, go down, make all your cuts and then you go back up and screw everything down. So now that, those are even with the top of the log rafter, so when the roof decking goes over the top, it uh, covers that gap. So here's the view from the front of the house. All the log rafters and the ridge pole up there. And you can see inside we have our loft beams up and the loft floor up. So we're making pretty good progress there. Like I said, today I'm going to be working on doing the decking, the, the roof decking. I'm just going to do uh, a few boards on each side with the scaffolding. And then I'm going to have to get up on the roof with roof jacks and, and to finish the rest of it off. But we're making pretty good progress. So stick around, I'll show you a little bit of the process on what I do to get the roof decking on and, and then I'll show you how far I get for the day. So 
little lengths of boards that you nail down. And then the next row is a different uh, set of lengths so that you're not coming out on the same rack or the same Then you just alternate between them all the way up. Okay, so now I have eight rows of the boards on on this side. So now we'll be able to get up on the rough to finish the rest of this off. So now I need to move all the scaffolding to the other side and do the same thing over there. All right, so as you can see from behind me here, I do have this one side done. It's been several days to get to this point. A um, couple of my brother-in-laws and my one of my nephews helped uh, get this side done and I'm currently working on the other side so one thing I'm finding is this steep pitched roof is really hard to work on um, you just you got to be really careful I'm using roof jacks you really should tie in so that if you do fall you don't go all the way to the ground I'm not doing that so don't do what I'm doing Take all safety precautions that you can just so you're safe. I don't have any tie-in equipment or anything like that, so I'm just I'm not doing that. It's not the right way to do it. Don't do what I do. Just be as be as safe as possible when you're on uh, roofs like this. So I'll take you around to the other side and show you the where I'm at there. <clears throat> So here we got, I think 19, 20 rows up. So there's about 24 rows, or no, I'm sorry. There's, so there's about 44 rows per side. I do leave, I am leaving the very last row till the end on both sides, because that one I will have to cut down uh, to fit properly. But we're getting there. Like I said, it's been several days. Um, it's slow, slow going, especially when you're by yourself, you got to go up, you know, nail in the boards, come down, cut the boards, carry the boards up, nail them in. So it is quite the process when you're by yourself. It helps when you have somebody cutting the boards and handing them up to you. So you're not having to go up and down the ladder as much, but, but it is what it is. I've been by myself for a couple of days and it's working. I'm making it work. So, like I said, though, keep in mind on a roof with this steep of a pitch it is a lot harder to work on i want to go up and start working on some more boards here and so stick around and see how far i get All right, so another row down. 
that makes 23 left to go so as you can see I was up there and every once in a while I'd drive in this chisel up above the rafter or up above the board into the rafter I kind of use that as leverage because you want to get the joints between the tongue and groove boards as tight as you can get them so I just drive this thing this chisel up above it and then pull down to pull it tight into the joint and then nail it works really nice for that so so only 23 more rows to go stick around and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished